Hi guys, it is ASMR Noir and today's video is going to be a... Uh, I just have to put out my fan here. There we go. Today's video is a Halloween special unboxing video. I got this today. Uh, Funko Pop, of course, since it's in the description of the video. But uh, I haven't opened the package yet. So if it's not the Funko Pop, then I guess you just have to. I just have to change the title first. But I think it is because of the size. So I'm going to take a scissor. And by the way, I hope that you have a wonderful Halloween wherever you are in the world. Sweden have been getting a Halloween craze since the past 10 years or so. So, yeah, there's a lot of celebration going on in Sweden during Halloween. And uh, I don't dress for Halloween specifically because... Uh, well, it's only me in my f my family, so to speak, and I don't visit anyone. Uh, but I usually make, a, as you've seen, <laughs> I usually make a special ASMR Halloween video. So I dressed up as Freddy, as you might have known if you have seen that one. All right, I have now opened the box, which is pretty funny. If it is what I think it is, I open the box. All right, and I can say it is a Funko Pop. And this is the receipt, I guess. Yes, it is. It comes from GreatGearStore.com from the United States. Or is it from England? I think it's from the United States, doesn't matter. And it's wrapped in bubble wrap. I guess I'm going to save this bubble wrap for my bubble wrap, bubble wrap collection, which I have in a box. I'm kidding, I don't have a litter, I don't have a, you know, I don't collect bubble wrap, but I have a box where I put bubble wrap to use in my videos. A lot of other stuff too, crinkly materials, so, all right. Let's put that aside. comes from the UK okay greatgearstore.com and here we have the Funko Pop all tidy and wrapped up in bubble wrap oh, two layers of bubble wrap whoops that this guy will be damaged or something and this is going to be so awesome because well you already know but you haven't seen him yet 
it is the prince of hell the man with the nails it is pinhead yes the priest of hell pinhead i'll tear your soul apart okay and uh, on the back side collect the entire line of Funko Pop movie super stylized vinyl, fi vinyl figure figures and it is a picture of Pinhead alright as you know from my last um, from my last unboxing video you can actually take these out of the box without destroying the box and you can put them back so it won't ever show that you put them out or took them out and of course I'm going to have to do it with this little pinhead here so bear with me while I try to open this as gently as possible I can't help but smell inside the box I always do that I don't know why So, in the last one I un unboxed it, there were some additional cards and stuff in it, but I don't think this one has that. Okay. I love these uh, figures, by the way. I bought my first one, which is also the only one I have except this one, but I was sold from the get-go when I just put it out of there. It was Ray from Star Wars, and I... The Force Awakens and I just was sold when I picked her out of the box and her little head wobbling about and when I saw they had a pin that I just had to buy him you know I am probably not gonna quit collecting these I love them so it's time for us to put the little pin out of the box you open the box we came and he, he's really heavy, this little guy. Look at him. Wow. And he keeps the box in his hand. As you might see. Okay, there. There is the little box. The little box of unearthly pleasures and I am really dirty under my fingernails again because I have been working on my motorcycle so I got oil and shit under them so don't worry it's nothing nasty it's just oil and uh, he can move his head <laughs> and I don't know I like the smell of toys or something like that. I don't know it's made in 2014 by Miramax, uh, or licensed by Miramax. So yeah, this is little Pinhead. And I adore him. Although I am not as impressed by this one as I was with uh, the, the Ray figure. Because that had a wobble head. And it also had some kind of base on which he stood upon. This one is pretty, I don't know, basic. I guess you can have him standing on stuff without him falling over. But nevertheless, I didn't buy him for much. And I really love him. <laughs> and uh, even though he doesn't have the base, perhaps not many have. I'm not that um, well read up about Funko Pop. I just know that I love them very much. And I think they are pretty cool, or pretty cool, I think they are really cool. And I don't know why she had a wobble head, which wibbled and wobbled, and this one hasn't. On the other hand, this one feels more compact or heavy, but that's probably because the skull has not the feather in it, which wobbles. Okay, let's see if we can uh, reverse the magic and put him back in the box without everyone ever notice he was out. Uh, it's pretty 
sad actually put them in back in the box because I like the details like this little flirt that goes up his neck which is does which it does in the movies and you also have like carvings on his back but um, he will just become dusty and I have a lot of stuff those of you who know me private or have seen my pictures on Facebook know that I'm a collector I'm not a crazy bag lady collector who like uh, collect newspapers or or cats although I have a lot of cats but I, I, I kind of like collects weird stuff funny stuff you know like toys old toys new toys I collect antiques I collect pretty everything that's cool <laughs> or that I like <laughs> and I think is cool I also collect horror related stuff and uh, yeah I get a lot of skulls and weird stuff in my house <laughs> so okay to continue with this um, Yes, you can go back to sleep now, my friend. It's like a little coffin. Or, yeah. And to do this correctly, there's some f <laughs> procedures we must take in consideration. And that is to put these back up, otherwise the, the plastic will just push them down. Then we must take the little guy. and actually look at them and then put them back not like the Star Wars collectors you know where you have to break the box to get them out and unless there's some hidden thing here I just broke I will make a diff I can't see a difference if it has been out or not so uh, Pinhead Funko Pop cool as hell and it is from uh, Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth. So, so, yeah. I don't know if it looks any special way. I think Pinhead always kind of looks the same. But, well, it says it's the Hell on Earth, Hellraiser 3, 134 edition or something. So I guess that's, um, yeah. And it's come, it's age 17, so if you're a minor, or if you're under 17, I mean, don't play around with this because you know what happens if you fiddle around with boxes with nailed head guys in it. Okay. Well, I will take this last moment of this video to wish you a merry, merry Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, a happy, happy Halloween. And from all of us to all of you, we love you. I mean, we got this. Uh, <laughs> and remember, there can't be any light without darkness, which I always say, kind of like a cat phrase. I'm trying to, well, anyway, sorry. Okay, I love you guys. Tingle on and have a wonderful Halloween, and I will see you in the next video.